Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Computer Habeas. Last month I did an unboxing and setup of this HP gaming laptop and promised to do a review after a month of use. This is a review from a gamer standpoint. It won't have benchmark performance tests, but will instead convey my experiences from actually using the machine to play retro and modern video games and creating levels for Doom 2 and Doom Builder 2. I wanted to do some 3D video game development and mono game on this machine but haven't had the time to do so as I'm all backed up on my video game project on my Mac. First let me explain why I bought this. Those of you who know me know that I'm a fanatical Mac user. However there are some Windows games and applications that won't run correctly when used in the emulator parallels and I need this to run those games. Second, I developed video games with mono game and the 2D stuff works great on Visual Studio for Mac. But the 3D stuff will only run on Visual Studio for Windows at this time. Third, I needed a portable computer as my last one bit the dust. I figured I could solve all three of these problems with a gaming laptop. Let's go over the price and stats here real quick in case you didn't watch my other video. The price for this custom laptop including Illinois sales tax was $839.36. I ordered it directly from HP and it took about a month for them to build it in China and ship it to my address in the United States. This machine has an AMD Ryzen 5 5600H processor with a boost clock speed of 4.2 GHz and a minimum of 3.3 GHz. Like many modern processors, the processor can choose to boost the speed of a core if it's staying cool. It also has a 16 megabyte L3 cache, 6 cores, and can handle 12 threads at once. The, the GPU is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with 4 gigabytes of memory. The computer has 16 gigabytes of memory and a 512 gigabyte SSD drive. I, I paid to upgrade to those. The keyboard is backlit and green and is very comfortable and easy to type on. The WASD keys are highlighted as those are used in many video games. I was a little hesitant to buy this computer as I didn't like the way it looked. When I finally saw it in person though, I thought it looked a lot better. My wife said she really likes the way the computer looks with the green backlit keys. As far as sound, this laptop has dual Bang Olufsen speakers with HP Audio Boost. The sound is very clear, but it could use more bass. Overall, the sound is good enough that I don't feel the need to use high quality headphones with this. This includes an HD camera and integrated dual array microphones. The camera is very nice, but the microphones sound pretty tinny to me. Here's a quick test of the microphone sound quality. Testing the microphone, testing the microphone, see how tinny it sounds. Get a Blue Yeti USB microphone if you're going to record audio for YouTube videos or presentations. I'm using a Blue Yeti for this right now. HP's website said that this computer would include Windows 11. When I got it, Windows 10 was installed and you had to manually run the upgrades to Windows 11 by yourself. Why couldn't this have been done at the factory? The screen is full high definition and has 144 Hz refresh rate and is 250 nits. The screen is very clear and all the colors look vibrant. 3D games like Doom Eternal run smooth as glass on this machine due to the good monitor and GPU. The nits are on the lower side which could be a problem if you use this under the bright sun such as at the pool side. Indoors or under normal lighting conditions the screen looks great though. The port situation is good on this machine. There are two USB-A ports, one USB-C port, an SD card reader, an HDMI port, and a microphone slash headphone port. This is more than enough ports for me. The SD card reader is a nice touch as my camera uses an SD card. Let's talk about the battery now. It's a 3-cell 52.5-watt lithium-ion prismatic battery. The battery is the only part of this machine that is disappointing. You'll get good battery life if you're just reading email and surfing the web. 
However, the battery rapidly drains while playing video games. When running retro games like Doom 2, the battery lasted about an hour and 15 minutes. While playing modern video games, it lasts up to about 53 minutes. If you're looking to play games on battery, then this isn't the right laptop for you. The games ran smooth as silk, though, on the battery, but it just didn't last long enough. In addition, this laptop does not accept a second battery like some of the older HP laptops. You need a screwdriver to get to the battery, so carrying multiple batteries really isn't practical. Now we can finally talk about how the different video games ran. As you've probably figured, retro games ran wonderfully. However, I was very happy to see that modern AAA games did also. I saw absolutely no choppiness in the animation on modern games like Doom Eternal. In addition, everything seems to run quick. This is a very fast machine, especially considering how inexpensive it is. Games load pretty quick also, since this has a decent SSD drive. As mentioned before, the sound is good enough that you probably won't need expensive headphones. The small speakers don't have enough bass though. One of the things I really like about this machine is the Xbox Game Bar. It's a simple method for doing a screen recording with application audio while playing games. I wish this existed for Macs because a Mac doesn't have an out-of-the-box way to record application audio, so you have to buy a third-party product like I show you Instant to do so. It's nice that you don't have to buy any special software to do this on Windows machines. Overall, this is an excellent budget gaming laptop. The only real gripe I have is the battery life is too short while playing video games. Modern AAA games run smooth as glass on this machine, and I'm very happy I purchased this. Thanks for watching, and have a good evening.